Morning, my dear friends. So happy to see you again. Welcome back, and so welcome to Spring Forest Qigong practice every day. So good. This week is my turn to lead the practice together with you. I'm just so happy to have this moment together with you. And so uh, my name is Chen Yilin. I'm uh, the found founder of the Spring Forest Qigong and. I thank you so very much for inviting so many people, so many of your friends to join us in this practice every day. You know what? You know, people said, you know, I want to do good deeds for others. I want to build up to my good karmas to help me to increase my uh, spiritual energy. You know what? There are so many things you can do. And one of the things you can do is to invite people your loved ones who really need this healing energy from you, from all of us, and to come to practice together. You know, when you invite them to join us to practice together, you, this is the best gift for the day you give to them, right? And so, well, you might say, mm, these people are not open to this practice yet. Well, no worry about that you can visualize inviting them in spirit to stand or sit next to you to practice together and while you during the uh, qigong meditation time you can send light send your love in the light to help them to bless them to transform their energy blockages now that's another way to open your heart to share your love with others. And this is another way to do good deeds. You know, there's so many, many ways you can do good deeds every day to help people. You know, so when you do so, actually you are helping yourself to build up the positive energy within you to help you to keep your heart open every day. So do you notice if you do so, can you feel so happy? throughout the entire day. So please do that. Um, so make time every day to practice yourself. And no, so with our teachers, I'm, I'm just so grateful to all our teachers every week and come meeting their time, their energy, their love to help you, to help the world, to become a better place for everyone to share to share their wisdom, their knowledge and with you, share their stories with you, to give, give you the inspiration and encouragement to practice Spring Forest Qigong together. I'm just so, so grateful to our teachers. You know, so by doing so, we build up the strongest Qigong community in the world. You know, so, the purpose of doing that, you know, by doing so, we build up a very strong chi field. In this chi field, when everybody joins, and not only you put your love and your energy together to allow everyone to share, you help to strengthen this chi field. And uh, you make this chi field even more powerful. Whenever people join in this chi field, and they can feel the love, they can feel the healing right there for whoever comes in. Isn't that powerful and beautiful? Now, so please continue to do that, all right? So, and then, and the other thing, and I encourage you to you know, please make time to share your stories, you know, with others. You can share the stories you know, with us, of course. I love that, and especially now I'm in the process of writing a book. You know, I love to see your beautiful stories in my book or in my future books or in my future teachings. You know, so then and the other thing is, you know, if you have questions, hey, call my healing center and contact my healing center to ask for support so of course if you have any challenges and healing you know so you can contact our teachers our healers all over the world you know so in your region 
to contact them, to have, uh, have them to support you, you know, to help them to read your energy, to help you to clear energy blockages and give you a coaching you know, to uh, specifically helping you with that specific challenges in your life. You know, so uh, I encourage you to do that. Of course, you can contact m uh, my healing center and our and masters and uh, the uh, energizers in our office will love to help you. You know. Okay, so um, so people have been asking me uh, lots of questions and especially about the healing in the springtime. So a couple. And uh, the things I like to share with you uh, in the springtime, you know, lots of people who have a diarrhea, you know, called spring diarrhea. And how can you deal with that? When you have a spring diarrhea, that means your energy system, number one, tries to cleanse that junk stuff out of the system. And another thing is, it also tells you that if you have a diarrhea, and that means your liver, your uh, pancreas, and your spleen are not working in sync with each other. So now this is what you can do. You can take a tablespoonful of uh, apple cider vinegar every morning and to uh, mix it with the water and drink it and to do it you know, for a week or so, and that can help to calm down to balance the energy in the liver and the spleen. And this is a one way, right? Then the other way is, you know, so this is the tip that I have in the head to toe healing book. And you can uh, roll your tongue behind your teeth, upper teeth and then lower teeth by uh, keeping your lips closed. You know, and you know, suppose that this is your mouth, all right? And the teeth, the upper teeth, and the lower teeth, and you roll your tongue clockwise. You're facing outside, you know, clockwise. So you roll your tongue behind the teeth, massaging the back of the teeth thirty-six times, thirty-six circles, and then counterclockwise thirty-six circles. And when you collect a lot of saliva, and you hold the saliva and swallow it bit by bit and do it throughout the day for a few times. And so, you know, just within, you know, two or three days, and you, know, you should feel much, much better. You know, the, sal the saliva is a great, great medicine, you know, internal medicine for you. And the saliva is also can help you with the like, acid reflex. You know, so when you have an acid reflex, you know, in the springtime, so, hey, roll the tongue, just like what I described, and do it uh, three times a day. And each time, you know, it takes just like a couple minutes, right? Or maybe three minutes. If you want to do more, of course, that is a great thing to do. Right? It, ha it helps you with the digestive system, with your liver, with your mm, heart, with your uh, pancreas and the spleen. So it's a great exercise. Okay. so. That's the tip for you for the day. Now we are going to practice our daily practice Qigong, and the third movement of a Spring Forest Qigong, Five Elements Healing Movement, and connecting to the heaven and the earth energy. And so this movement is, can help you to open up the lungs, open up the uh, diaphragm, and open up the channels connecting upper part of the body and the lower part of the body from another dimension. Okay, let's get to it. So please stand. Now put your feet about your shoulder width. Okay, so and bend your knees a little, always you do so, and put a smile on your face. Do you remember what smile stands for? Let's say it aloud together. Start my internal love engine. So thank you. Now, so let's tap the beginning of the eyebrows. Use the knuckles of your thumb nine times. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and the face, the middle of the cheek and the cheek here, and under the eye, under the eyes, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cup the top of the head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now cup the base of the head by slightly bending over a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now tap the tailbone. When you tap the tailbone, you help to activate the kidney energy to help you. And the hip joints. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very good. So now we start bouncing. Now while you're bouncing, you tell the universe what is the purpose for you to do this everyday Qigong practice together with me. For instance, you say, you know, I want to heal my arthritis in my joints. I want to open my heart more to help the world. And I want to clear blockages in my breast. As I'm healed, I'm going to share a lot of joy, happiness, healing, and love with my family, with my friends, my community, and even the world. Now, then you focus on your knees, drop your shoulders. Let go with your shoulders and your stomach and bounce. Now have your hands up above your head. Let go with the wrist and continue to bounce. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. You inhale and exhale slowly, gently, and deeply. Take five seconds to inhale. Side or five seconds to exhale. If you are in the process of healing something chronic in your body, you can focus on the exhaling a little bit longer time. For instance, take uh, three to five seconds to inhale and five to seven seconds to exhale. Now remember, when you inhale and exhale, you need to feel comfortable. Don't try to push yourself too hard. Now put your hands down. Focus on your lower dantian. And now slowly you move your hands up from the sides. Slowly. Now you hold your hands above your head, just like you're holding a beach ball above your head. And the elbows drop a little bit. Fingers slightly open. Inhale, you drop your knees a little. Exhale, slowly straight up your knees. Inhale again, slowly drop your, sh your shoulders a little bit and also the knees. And exhale, slowly move your hands up. I mean, move your, straight up your knees. If by holding your hands still like this, you feel a little bit tired, and you can move your hands, drop your elbows a little bit more down, like what I'm doing at this moment. And then exhale straight up, stretch your hands straight up to the ceiling. And you feel that you're so connected to the heaven and the earth. Say in your mind, your feet 
are nine feet deep in the earth to receive the earth energy to support you. And your hands are way, way up in the heaven, receiving the universal energy. You can feel your body is just so grounded and so connected. When you connect the earth energy and the heaven energy, feel how peaceful you feel. Drop your shoulders. You might say, by holding up the hands like this, I feel so tired. How can I feel so tired with my arms? How can I feel that peacefulness in my body? Well, if you focus on the lower Dantian, which is deep in behind the navel, and try to take a moment to ignore your arms, And you let go with your emotion. Or simply just visualize you are watching yourself doing this movement and you are the inspector. You are the coach coaching your dear friend, which is your body in front of you, to do this movement. And you feel the calmness is right there for you. So if, if you feel the tingly sensation in your hands, maybe you feel a little bit aches and pains in your shoulders, that means the channels are opening up. That's a good thing. You remember, do it slowly and gently. This movement is very, very good for opening up the channels in your lungs, opening up and strengthening the diaphragm so that you can take longer and deeper breath. And you can also create more energy, more chi flow from the head to the toe, helping you to cleanse the major energy channels open. Now, two more movements of this movement. Then we come to the end of this movement. Inhale, drop your knees, and exhale, straight up. Inhale again, drop your knees, your shoulders a little bit, and exhale, straight up. And now slowly, you put your hands down. Remember, Put your hands down slowly. If you hold your hands in the air for too long, if you drop them right immediately, you might feel the muscles kind of a hood and the ligaments and tendons feel kind of a hood. So do it slowly. Now focus in your lower dantian and take a deep breath. Now, please go sit down, and we'll continue with the dolphining of the upper spine. After you sit down, put your back against the back of the chair and make your body stationary. Put your hands on the lap, on your knees, the palm facing down, and the fingers slightly open, and then move your elbows out a little bit. Continue to put a smile on your face. Now, inhale, lift up your chin and stretch it forward a little bit, visualizing you're scoping a golf ball. 
and you connect the golf ball to your neck. And then slowly you move up the golf ball, the golf ball to the ceiling. Exhale. And when your neck is straight, then lean back a little bit so that you can feel a little bit pulling sensation in the upper chest and the back. And then inhale again. Again, do it slowly and gently. Drop your shoulders so that you can feel the pulling sensation a little bit more in the upper chest and the upper back. Put your tongue against the roof of the mouth. And while you're doing so, I want you to visualize this uh, light shining in your middle dantian, which is in the bottom of the rib cage, right in the middle, next to the bottom of the height. Seeing this uh, light shining there. And this light shining there in the middle dantian can help you together with this movement to open the channels going through the diaphragm, connecting to your lungs, to your head. And this movement is very good for helping you to take care of the stresses collected in the shoulders and the upper chest. And through my healings of these years, I notice Lots of people have lung problems, heart problems, shoulder problems, headaches. That's because the qi cannot get through the diaphragm properly. The diaphragm is the intersection of yin and yang in your body. And it is almost like a gate for the yin and the yang qi to get through. So when we sit so much time at the computer, we use only the top, the upper part of the lungs, and you bend your upper spine over too much and stay in that posture for too long. Gradually, you create a blockage in this part of the body. So now this is a perfect exercise, a Qigong meditation movement to help you to unblock this energy blockage in time. And I will encourage you to do this movement throughout the day from five seconds to five minutes every day, throughout the day. It's just so simple and so easy to do. Make sure you drop your shoulders so that you can feel the pulling sensation in the upper chest, in the neck, and the upper back.
And remember, you do it slowly and gently. In Qigong practice, the more slowly you practice the movement, the more qi you are going to create, and then the faster you can help yourself to get the channels open. Now so I want you to practice along by yourself, quietly, to feel the gentle, deep feeling in your upper chest, shoulders, and upper back. And here I am sending you my love and healing. Now we are coming to the end of this movement practice. Two more movements of this movement. Inhale, stretch your chin forward, visualizing you are scooping a golf ball and connect it to your neck. Then lift it up to the ceiling, exhaling. Then lean back a little. And then inhale again. And exhale. Now you bring your body to the center. Drop your shoulders, relax, and focus on your lower dantian and take a deep breath. Mm. Now you say thank you to your masters, to the divine, for helping you, helping us in this Qigong meditation practice every day. And open your eyes and wrap your hands together. And massage your face. Okay, now cup your head. Massage your ears. And on 
corpus, you pull your um, earlobes down a little bit. Okay, now cup your arms, left one first, inside, the back of the arm, and then the inside, and then the back, one more time. Now the right arm, inside, and the back of the arm, inside again, and then the back, one more time, inside, and then the back. All right now, cup the torso. Okay, underarm, left side first, and the arm pick down to the end of the rib cage. The other side. Okay, so now cup the knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now the left side of the knees, both sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it. Thank you so very much for taking your time joining me this everyday spring forest qigong practice to help you to build up strong immunity in your body, to help you to clear energy blockages, and most importantly, to help you to, together, we share our love, our joy with the world, with our community and the family. So I'm look so, looking so forward to seeing you until tomorrow morning, eight o'clock. Please share, invite as many people as you can to join us in, in, our, in this practice. As always, I love you and many, many blessings to you.